I know somebody that's stuck down on the bottom And he deals with his problems in ways that never solves them And I know how he feels inside Try to give him flowers while he's still alive I see demons in my sleep Got a teardrop falling down my cheek Don't lay down, homie, you can't leave me now Hey guys, so today we're doing the Amex 50 Fosh Oh yeah Another one of those armor videos. Alright, so the AMX-50 Flash is one of the best tank destroyers in the game, in my opinion. Comparative to its speed, its removability, its repair cost, which is a good thing, its gun, and its armor, it is an insane tank. Now, easily you could say, oh, it's not the best armored tank in the game. Well, yeah, you could shoot there or right here, but... We're not talking about the weak spots just yet. We're talking about the actual upper front plate. That is some slopage going all the way up to about 320, 320 millimeters of armor. It's gun, 301 millimeters at best. Still can't pen it. Now granted, you cast, like I said, this is a weak spot. You could shoot right there and bam, you hit some ammo. You can shoot right there and you can sometimes bounce okay that one's going through let's see if we hit yep there we go there's some more ammo we hit lower plate nope ricochet too much angle this thing is a beast now at 7.3 we have to deal with leopard ones they're discarding savo won't go through but they're heat Oh god, that's nasty. That will go straight through, and if they hit a certain spot, they could hit the ammo, and there you go. Now you have detonation. Lower plate, which is funny, it it, it ricochets, I think. No, no, it doesn't. It's just that little spot right there and where it can't go through, but it ricochets down here. Doesn't it, it does a little damage, but not that much. Yeah, we can go through that. Can't go through that. We can go through there. Yep, there's some ammo hit. But yeah, 7.3, we have to worry about that. The only other tank that I would say that we have to worry about is um, RUT-51, Heat Shell. Okay, so he can pen me if he hits correctly right there. Um, he can pen me in the lower plate, obviously. He can pen me through this. Pen me through this, and he can pen me on the roof and get ammo, but he can't pen the upper portion of this plate because it gets thicker and thicker. That is pretty decent. That's a 6.7. I don't know if we're gonna see that, but the leopard is the one tank we gotta watch out. Look at the thickness of this plate 180 millimeters sloped at a fucking Hold on, I gotta get this angle correctly. 56 degree angle. Golly. And these are angled, so no one should physically pen you a con with normal rounds, but any heat shell, fin stable will go through this, it will go through this, it will go through this. Your armor is rendered useless at that point. Most tanks that you will be facing, sometimes you'll get into 8.0, sometimes you'll get into other battle ratings but for what this is if i had to say if i came up against us's um, rank 5 m103 standard solid shot you would not go through we can bounce the m103 shot Oh wow, that one actually, so that bounce down actually allows it to go through because the angle's not there anymore. Eh, he gets a little lucky. Alright, so yeah, he can go through there. He can go through there. Oh no, he can't. It, it depends. He can go through there. Yeah, so there are some weak spots, but it is a beastly tank in itself. Oh. Now, side. 40. 30, 20, 40, 40, 
40. 40. There's no angling this tank. You cannot angle it. So your armor has to be front at the enemy at all times in order to survive a hit. Now, I can tell you one thing that I love about this tank. Most people don't know where to shoot it. So sometimes you're going to be in those battles where you're just going to get constant bounces. And you're going to be like, oh, it's, it's amazing. But this, this type of tank, I've pretty much played it. The most I've seen in an up tier would probably be 8.3. And we still can do shit at 8.3. The M103 has basically the same turret armor as this with the same gun and can do that. And it's slower, too. So that's another guarantee this thing has. It's fast. So let's see what our American French Foch with the American flag on it can do with a Russian symbol on the barrel can do. I'll see you guys in a match. Good. A desert map. Whew. I was hoping I was going to get something else, but this is even better. And I think we're top tier. Uh, no, it's actually a, it's a mixed battle. Oh, what the fuck? Well, welcome to the show where Man Zombie Man fucking runs into a rock and drives up it. <laughs> okay, so we're we're top tier. I think uh, I think the highest is probably 8.0. If I'm not mistaken. No. Yeah, so we're top tier. Gotta love the way this thing sounds. I forgot to tell you what cannon this was, but eh, we'll get back into that when we get back into the hangar. Because sure enough, you know me, I'm gonna pretty much die pretty quick because I'm a rusher. And this tank has no side armor, so I can't rely on its side. Then again, that's most of my tanks. Nine, and we didn't kill him. That's a Jack Tiger. Come on, reload that gun. Why is it taking so long? It's not reloading. Come on. Oh, and we're dead. Okay, so one kill this match. Huh. What the fucking sheesty? Why was it taking so long to reload the gun? Was it not 17 seconds? Okay, well, that match didn't go so well. Let's get to the gun real quick before we go back into another match. So we have a 15mm MG151 uh, machine gun. It says 15 machine gun. Does that mean there's 15 machine guns? I, I don't know. Here's the machine gun. And that's pretty cool. And then we have a 120mm SA... 46 cannon. That is a baby. It says it can hold 48 rounds for its main gun, but in testing it only holds 40. So I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this, this, let's, this, ugh, let's get back into a match. The last match we got a one kill because that leopard. Like I said, leopards are going to be the main killer of this tank. There's other tanks with heat. But the Leopard is the main killer of this tank. The Leopard has a heat shell. And most people who have the Leopard grind out the heat shell. Let's get into another match. Alright guys, we're back in another battle. Now this map, I do enjoy playing. But I don't know where to go exactly. I'm going to go to the highway. So, if you guys didn't realize, I kind of had to stop one part of the video now 
This was only totally intentional, but I had uh, IRL family knocking on my door as I was recording, so I kind of had to stop because we went somewhere. Let's just say we went to Walmart and got stuff, groceries, because I was meant I was meaning to get groceries today. I just didn't. I, I kind of recorded the video before even thinking about that. But other than that, we're back. You're not gonna see that part because that part has been pretty much deleted. But this is a new battle, even though it's hours after the fact of what the other video was. I was doing really well. It's just. I had people banging at my door, and I'd rather you guys not sit there and listen to my family banging at the door while I'm doing a video. But other than that, we're in another match, and this time, we are gonna probably go to C. I'm gonna go this way. God, I really love the way this thing looks, and how fast it is. Get behind one of these things. That actually, no, because we can get killed right there. The whole premise of this tank is not to get shot in the side, like I said in the last, in the uh, beginning. This thing has zero armor on the sides, and its weak spots are pretty prevalent for ammo hits. And there's an IS-7. God, my aim is going to be terrible. That was an accurate shot right there. Got a T-62. Oh, he's coming up fast. I don't know what to do in this situation. I can't back off fast. That's something I forgot to mention. Is this guy trying for a side shot? Oh god. So he's intentionally ducking his rounds for me to kill him. You want me to kill you, buddy? Oh, oh he's getting shot. Ouch! Okay. He penned me. Okay, he's firing Finn Stable. And remember guys, Finn Stable is another one of those things that can kill me. Come on. Okay. That was a heat. Hey, T-62. Where is he? Right there? Yeah, right there, right there. Get him. Yeah, there. I think I had a smarter idea just to get behind here. Okay, we have two of those tanks there. I don't know if they can hold off an enemy like that, but... Right now we're lucky because we didn't die, but if we can get that kill, that would be beautiful. He caused some damage to me, though. He penetrated me, and he made my driver and gunner, I think... One's gunner, one's driver orange but he didn't do much damage so he switched to heat I could tell by the explosion that it was a heat round that hit me okay that was a dunk low he should be dead by now but I mean 
what were we going to do? Plus, we did hit the ammo rack slash gas tanks. If you didn't know Russia does that. Okay, someone took that kill. Yeah. We dunked that a little bit too low. Ooh, it's a 52. Okay, driver, gunner. Tell you what this tank's good for. Hitting gunner and drivers really easily. And we're protected by that, hopefully. Uh, it's not... It's not the first time I've been pulled by that shit. Oh, we just bounced a massive round coming in, guys. Yeah, it wouldn't append us, but that's still a massive round. Alright, we're gonna back off. We're gonna, come on, 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 come on. Yes. Yes, transmission and engine and set them on fire. Okay, we still have tanks over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Whew. All we need to do now is just get one more match like this. Oh, there's a Leopard. Oh, there's a T-54 right there. Oh, I can't see. That's an object. Nope, that's an S. 100p. Is that a leopard right there? Oh, you dick. So the thing is, I don't have smoke, so I can't physically do much when a tank like that tracks me, but he should not be able to hit me. Yeah, he should not be able to hit me. Oh no, okay, well there goes the T-54 with a heat shell, straight to my front. That's another thing I gotta watch out for, T-54 1951s. They're the worst. They will one-shot you. And there goes a leopard with the heat shell. Alrighty then, let's get another match done. All right, so we're on our second favorite map, American Desert. Um, okay, so Centurion Mark 10. So we got some British and Russian on our side. So, I mean, it is arcade, so we're going to have Russian, German, and British on their side, too. Uh, I keep on forgetting that. Realistic battles is my favorite thing to do. Um, in the last video, I said I only play with friends. That is true and not true at the same time, but I'm better with friends. That's why I'd rather play realistic with friends, because we're all strategic and we know where the fuck we're going and what's in front of us and what's behind us. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, will I play it? Yeah, but it, it depends on the matches. Like, arcade, I've played longer, but other than that, the Fosh is an arcade beast. I don't know about it being in realistic. I'm pretty sure it's a beast in realistic. It just costs more realistic than it does in uh, arcade. Fucking dick. Trying to ATGM me. He didn't even kill. Oh, yeah, he did kill a person. <laughs> Did he completely? Yeah, he missed my gunner. Oh. Okay. Okay. Someone take that M103 out. Please, someone take that M103 out. Don't push me! Oh, okay. Back off, back off. I can't. Oh, he hit the hard solid plate. That M103 is scaring the living shit out of me. Please be beautiful. Alright. Far out. I'm kind of sticking myself out here, kind of pushing me to not get smacked by a heat shell, but there's nothing I can do if I end up getting smacked. 
And there goes that video. Dicks. Thanks for ruining my video, you hacking piece of crap. It's not a They're not hackers. Oh man, that pisses me off. Why did it have to be a BMP1? Alright, peace, gu uh, peace guys. Jeez, we're not ending the video yet. We're gonna get one more good match before we end it. This is not a map I like. At all. And so for that, we're gonna use this skin because we are gonna go. Hmm. Yeah, this map is not my favorite, guys, because it's kind of one sided, meaning whoever takes the hill up here basically wins the match. Because now you've got crossfires all up on the top, and if they have armor, it's even worse. Really, it is. Like, put an IS4M up here, put a. T10M, put a freaking IS-7 for god's sakes, put a mouse up there on this hill with accurate aiming and shots, it, it is unbelievably scary and retarded and unfair. And I get it, they have weak spots, I have weak spots, but you're talking about armor from a distance with an accurate gunner. Or person who's very good at the game, in the sense, and knows where to hit you. Yeah, they know where to hit the mouse, and they know where to hit the T10M, and they know where to hit the IS-7, and they know where to hit other tanks. But you're talking about accurate shots. The T34-85 is going to get me. No? Okay. But... Yeah, you're talking about awkward shots. Now, take me for example. Kind of bushed out. Not that much. Uh, heavy duty upper frontal armor plate. Heavy duty lower frontal armor plate. Very heavily armored thing. And a very powerful cannon. And a lot of speed. Granted, there are going to be times when I'm going to have to show my sides just to get to a better position because I'm getting pinned down. And maybe there's heat involved. But this tank will wreck this map any day. And that's my opera's <laughs> a conqueror fair. Okay, yeah, angled 100 millimeter. Yeah, that, that I honestly can say is kind of bullshit. But then again, it is a British damn tank. So, from, I would have to say that was about a thousand plus meters away with a cannon. about a thousand plus meters away I would say about maybe 1200 1300 meters away uh, versus 180 millimeter slope plate angled very very ang angled up and angled away from his shot uh, in the sense he hit directly on the main plate and s went through the angle that it was at 
and continue through. You gotta do better than that. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, this this match is pretty much done for. Damn Conqueror. Nope. Uh, see, that's what I was saying. This match, this map alone is whoever controls that region is just. Mm. Another match. Back. Or on this map, which. I don't particularly like, but whatever. I literally, that, that map alone irks me every single time. That map is just, it's broken as shit. You can't, that, that, there's a lot of spawn camping and spawn killing on that map. Hence the hill. It's one of those types of hills it's one of those types of maps where I say, no. It shouldn't have never been released. But it was released. And arcade, it's hard, it, it's hard to play. Realistic, maybe not. Because realistic and simulated, you gotta search for your tanks on that map. Okay. I can't tell if I can actually hit that guy or if it's just glitched. I don't see those don't make no sense. Okay, I I'm assuming he can't hit me. I'm just gonna run off. I can't tell if I can hit that guy or if he's just like that the thing's broken like it's saying that he can hit me. I'm gonna move this way. Hmm, this might be a good spot.
Told you. Knew that Ab or that Abrams that uh goddamn Sherman was gonna try to take a pot shot at my side. Luckily he hit the upper ar the armor plate instead of the side armor plate. Cause that would suck. Trick him 1949. I don't think that one gets heat. 51 is the one that gets heat. Okay, let me go up this hill a little bit. Okay, never mind, he gets wrecked. Just making sure, cause I don't, I don't want something sneaking up on my ass. The tank might be very open, but that ammo rack looks sexy to anyone who wants to shoot it. And once it gets hit, it's gonna explode, and everything behind it in close. Uh, okay, I'm getting out of here now. Already was called on me, and if it already goes through the top of me, I'm dead. in right now. There's a 1951. Nineteen fifty one he bounced. Make sure you watch this. All right, I'm moving into some dangerous territory. God, for a second there I thought I was playing by myself. I'm moving into dangerous territory because that Tiger 2 is pretty deadly. And then the Conway! O-M-G. The Conway just bounced his Sabo shot from that position. You know what that Sabo shot is? It's literally the freaking Conqueror's Sabo shot. I really don't know how or why but he bounced and I remember from 1200 to 1300 meters away that thing went through my upper front plate like it was nothing last round even angled so I don't think that that was an actual kill this game maybe Gaijin can intertwine in the comments below just to say hey it was pretty much pretty accurate I don't even know how that works um, after this match we'll look and see 
Oh, I'm dead. Right up on their base. I don't like doing this. I don't like being near bases. Cause it's kinda I, I guess we're spawn or we're spawn pushing, but even then, spawn pushing is a bitch. Now, I think these guys are up against the Conway, that's why they're not pushing, because the Conway is pretty deadly. Yeah, it's an open tank and you can kill it. But you also gotta remember There you go, there's that game. Wasn't the best in the sense that we got any points for it, but it was okay. There's the stats and so on and so forth. I know I didn't show you the last game that I had, but eh, what am I going to do? Now, hmm. I don't remember what I was going to Oh, okay, I know what I was going to do. So, we're going to go ahead and see if the British tank can actually really pen at that angle. Conqueror. L7 shot. I think it was 1,200 to 1,300. We'll try 1,300 meters. Is it 345? Hmm. It's not looking promising. No. Yeah. That had to... There's no way. Oh, wait. No, because he hit up here. No. Maybe it was 900. I don't, it wasn't even closer than that. It wasn't 500, because it's still 359. It wasn't 400, it wasn't 300. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. It shouldn't be able to pen me. It, it At the angle that my thing was at, it shouldn't have been able to pen me. Now, frontally, yeah, it would have gone through. But... I was kind of angled like this on him. He didn't hit here because remember, in the replay, it hit right on this plate. Maybe. No, even that still wouldn't have gone through. That's over 400. That's over 500 to 600 millimeters right there. I, I don't. Maybe. No, because it hit this plate. So I don't know. Maybe it wasn't like this. That's the only thing I can think of, but I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the video playback on that and see where he exactly he hit. I wasn't angled like that because in the plate, then I'd be facing downwards and my gun would have to face up on him. It it was angled at this angle like right here. It had to have been. I think at zero meters, maybe, maybe a small chance. Okay, there's a small chance, but that's zero meters away. We're talking about 1,200, 1,100 uh, 1, to 1,300 meters. Huh. I don't know, guys. That's that's questionable. And then I also know that Sable is kind of a sometimes buggy at sometimes, but I still think that was amazing. That was about probably, I want to say, 750. 600 now nah, it was it was in the range of like 450 500 
I'm so surprised about that. Conway did not even have a chance to go through that at the angle. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, guys. It's weird. Sabo doesn't have that big of a problem going through these, but I guess it did. That's basically the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to go back and watch that and see if that was actually just me being stupid and it went through the plate here instead of this main plate. Or maybe, I don't know. I still feel like it hit at this angle at this plate and it still went through regardless if it was down. It wasn't even below the tracks. It was up here somewhere. Well, I'll have to see and you guys will see that too, but that's a damn lucky shot. It's a one in a million to go through this plate, as we can see, because straight on, this the Savo Stu has a huge problem going through at 400 meters away. Alright guys, well there you go, AMX-50 Fosh. Um, it's a great tank. Um... It's a couple of tanks you have to go through, the ARL, the CA Lorraine, and then the AMX-50 Fosh, and then the AMX-10 RC. I think the Fosh is pretty decent. I would say it's a pretty decent tank for how it plays and what its role is, especially at 7.3. It's surprisingly good. It's not... In the sense that it's overpowered because at 7.3 you're going to see other tanks that will go through you with their heat shell. But if they're stock, you are pretty much the most capable tank on the battlefield. Capable of killing anything from the front and with no problem. With every ease ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I did too. I love the Fosh. I love this bad boy right here. <laughs> but the Fosh, I can honestly say, out of the IS-7 and the French Fosh, I'd rather play the Fosh over the IS-7. But I like the IS-7. There's no doubt that this would be my second favorite out of everything. So I, I don't know what else to say. Love it, hate it, like it, leave a comment. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.